So now that Dr. Gordon has talked about a little bit about infections, I'm going to talk a little bit about environmental toxins. So those five reasons that make us sick, we're going to go into, into them in depth a little bit today. And if you want more webinars on any of these in the future, let us know because we, we're happy to do a deep dive in, in any of these. So now a little bit about environmental toxins. So like I said, metals, glyphosate, pesticides, solvents, a lot of these are endocrine disruptors or they cause neuroinflammation or they're carcinogenic. So there's research on this, that's for sure. They're also, um, they also cause immune dysregulation. There's research on that. So now the combination of infections and toxins that amplifies the immune dysregulation that our patients are experiencing. I wanna mention the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry. It's a sub-agency of the CDC. They formulate a registry on environmental toxins. This is a very important registry because it's a combination of how the toxic substance, of how toxic the substance is, how frequently it's found in Superfund sites and how many people are exposed. So there is this data out there on environmental toxins and as well, the disease processes that they can contribute to. So regarding metals, arsenic is number one on this registry. Lead is number two. Mercury is number three. Cadmium is number seven. And many common chemicals are in the top 20. So of course I measure these, we measure these on our patients and, and we find them high just in their blood. Just people are being exposed right here, right now. We can tell that by looking at their blood or their urine. And that's, and I'm talking about high levels in comparison to the CDC data. So this is really an issue. And, and then these metals, they bioaccumulate in the cells of our organs, including the thyroid, the kidneys a lot, the liver, and the other toxins bioaccumulate in our fat cells. So there's ways to test all of this. And again, we're going to do another webinar on testing, but I just want you to know that these toxins are found in our patients. And of course, we want to detoxify them. Now, who we created this pre-tox book and, and um, take a look at it. I'm sure most of you already have it. Usually I don't want to send my patients into a detox protocol yet. I want to make sure they're ready for this because when when we detox people, inflammation is created. That just comes with the territory. So we've got to make sure that, that the system is prepared for detox. Again, we can do another webinar on this. Um, in fact, maybe I have. Did yeah. we? I can't remember. <laughs> but yes. Anyway. yes, you yeah, you have. We'll we'll share it. Yeah, we 